Okay, so here we have this Trinitron KV-13M20. I picked it up locally off of the Facebook Marketplace. There you see KV-13M20, built in September 1997. Um, on the back you see we've got just the coaxial input with one audio and one video port, so it's, it's a mono TV. It's only got the one speaker in the front. Um, the guy on Facebook said that it had sound, but no video, and he was giving it away for free. So I went and picked it up, and I thought, you know, I'll take a look at it. Little something on the screen there I thought might be a scratch, but it washed off. Going ahead and looking at the front, pretty simple. Uh, this drop-down door here only has the headphone jack. Um, channel up, down, volume up, down, TV, video, and power, and a single speaker. We've got four screws. That's all it takes to dismantle the back shield. Here we're going to give it just a uh, quick, dirty wipe down. No chemicals or anything, just water. Okay, first power up, no inputs, just plugged in and turn it on. Let's see what happens. Right, so as you can see, upon the first power-up, I had sound. I also had video. I mean, I couldn't replicate the problems that this person was telling me that this TV had. Um, so, I don't seem to see anything wrong with it. Um, throw on the 240p test suite on the Super Nintendo here. Um, it doesn't look terrible. It's, it's a good starting point. Um, there's nothing, like, horribly out of whack with it. So right off the bat, I was looking at the top corners. Sorry. You can see there's some waviness here on the sides. Um, but overall, the geometry was decent. On the top corners, there there is some convergence issues that I didn't capture very well. Um, but the geometry overall was not terrible. I was pleased to see that things were pretty well in line. I continued to play around in the settings and tweak things for quite some time. Um, I found that there was, you know, adjustments for vertical size here uh, in position in the TV s um, service menu. Uh, unfortunately, there wasn't anything for horizontal, really, aside from position, I believe. Um, so I thought that was a bit strange, a little bit different than the other Trinitrons I've had my hands on so far. Um, I fumbled my way through the menus for a while here, and... Um, you know, just played around with the, the, the limited settings that were available on a TV of this size. And um, I didn't do any of the color calibration at this point. I was just kind of um, doing a rough geometry adjustment um, just to see how things, you know, looked uh, from a starting point. 
I should have brought all those settings down on the TV to begin with before I went into the service menu, but I kind of got ahead of myself. Um, but overall, I was I was kind of impressed. Um, not bad. Not bad at all for being told it was broken and it being a free pickup. You know what I mean? So next we're going to open her up and see what it looks like inside. Uh, I can see a little bit of dust through the, the vents on, you know, the sides and top. Um, but, you know, that's how it goes. These things are old. That thing is, what, 97? So 25 years, quarter century. Took a slow video here just of the initial um, state of things. Um, a lot of dust, a lot of grime. A lot of this did not blow off when I hit it with the compressed air out in the garage. Um, so it's kind of caked on dust, grime, that did not easily blow off. It would it would require additional cleaning. Now, I don't I didn't notice it at the time, but there are like yoke wedges missing. Um, there's one off to the right there. Um, it's going to be right on the bottom of this frame there, just laying on the board. So that might be a little bit of what's going on with the convergence, because there's, I believe, two of them that have fallen off. Um, the magnetic strips are still there, which is nice, but the um, those little plush yoke adjustment sticky things, wedges, um, two of them had fallen down. So A couple of still shots here. I, I didn't see any blown capacitors or or any leaking capacitors. There's a piece of plastic that broke off. I never did figure out where that went. Um, but overall, in decent condition. Um, I'm kind of thinking I might just for fun. I might just for fun, if I'm extra bored, I might recap these boards. And, um, you know, go from there and try to adjust the convergence issues and um, see how things go. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Like and subscribe to see more. Cheers.